Metaverse.co presents 1 to 48 ARX7 Arbalist. Hello again, everybody. This is Scar from Metaverse.co doing the review of the 1 to 48 scale ARX7 Arbalist from Oshima from the Full Metal Panic series. I've shown you the unbox and the parts in detail, and now it's time to take a look at the fully assembled AES. First of all, as you may have noticed, I pen aligned it and I've put glue where this guy needed. And I did just a little bit of paint right there on the back of the head. You can see there the two green spots. Then, since I have already done this on the previous video, I'll just go over quickly on the articulation. Now the head can go up and down, rotate to the side and move side to side a little bit, but remember if you don't glue it yourself it will tear apart each time you touch it. And of course, if you pull too hard, there's always the chance you open the cockpit by mistake. Arms can rotate through 60 and there is also a little bit of movement there at the chest, forwards and backward. Then it rotates 360 below the shoulder, bends at the elbow at two joints, and the hand can rotate and wiggle around. You saw this falling off, didn't you? Yes, actually these little panels under the chest are becoming quite loose, and these on the back too. The torso can still move forward and backward and rotate 360 without any problems. Legs can move pretty far forward, a little backward, and off to the side a little bit. They still bend at the knee at two joints, and the foot pretty much wiggles around. Although the legs are connected by a polycuff, and each time you move them a little bit too much, they pop out. As I told you, polycaps in this kit are not that good. I sincerely apologize for all the noise you might be hearing, but it's actually my little brother downstairs playing video games with his little friend. Did you hear that, Destiny? As you've seen, the shotgun is really slim and so we can hold it without any problem, like I just don't care. Same goes for the dagger over there. And now that I've glued these two pieces together and this one fell off, you can have it sitting there and looking quite sharp. And now that I gave this little knife into his mouth, that little bit of paint it needed, it just look awesome and make the Arbalest a fearsome AS. And when you activate the Lambda driver and move the legs just a bit, this guy can really look awesome. And now let's move to the last accessory, this little knife. That is the opened up version of this one stored on the chest. And first of all I have to say that this is only one, whether this on the chest are two. Would be nice if they give you at least two. I want to be able to dual wield if I want, but whatever, I won't be able in any case because as you can see there, holes on the end are really big and this is really thin, so as you can imagine, yeah, not the best. Let's try it again, nope, definitely not working. And it's even worse when you come to this one. This one is the smaller one that goes into his mouth and yeah, it's definitely smaller and thinner and it's bad because as I told you before, this is one of the Arbalist's most unique features and I really love this knife and I want to be able to hold it if I want. I mean, you can have him holding it, even this one, but I challenge you to put off an action pose with that. For a little size comparison, you can see they're between a high grade and a master grade model from Bandai. 
And you can really tell it's a pretty tall model kit after all. And it definitely has a feel with its predecessor, the M9. So this will end my review of the 1 to 48 scale ARX7 Arbalest from Oshima. And I gotta say, there are pros and cons as you have seen, and even if it's not the best, compared for example to this guy, it was an easy and fun build, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I totally recommend this guy to any Full Metal Panic fan, because the Arbalest is a badass. And you should get it. Anyway everyone, this was Scar from MeetUverse.co. Hope you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, see you next time, bye!